Right, I've already given the um, main itinerary for day three, but before we go on that itinerary, um, we've just found out that the Glenfinnan Viaduct, the famous Harry Potter one, is only 24 minutes from where we are. And I am very excited. At the northern end of Loch Shiel stands the Glenfinnan Monument. There is much more to Glenfinnan than just the Harry Potter viaduct. It's the location where in 1745 Bonnie Prince Charlie raised his standard to start the Jacobite Rising. Oh, it's a very wet and miserly day today, but still beautiful. I tried to convince Graham that the rain is less wet and dries more quickly in Scotland. I don't think he's convinced though. certainly awesome. It's fitting that this monument is built on the shore of the Loch Shiel where the uh, uprising first began. This is the Dragonfly Trail at the Visitors Centre at Glenfinnan on the edge of Loch Shiel and they've done this lovely walkway that even has passing places look at that <laughs> I'm just going to go in here in case somebody wants to pass oh no they don't so I'll carry on That's oh, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Stunning. I'm loving it. As we were walking along the trail, the Dragonfly Trail, we spotted this beautiful painting on the rocks, tucked away, right by Loch Shiel. I think the bridge might be closed. Yeah. Yeah. So we got here really early and there were about three of us in the car park and it's really getting packed now. It's just gone 10 o'clock and the train is expected at 10.45. So it pays you to get here early. I think we'd have been struggling a bit now had we arrived an hour later. And here's the visitor centre, there's a little shop and all the information about the place as well and down at the back just where that motorhome's driving in front of there's a little cafe and there are toilets so everything you could need and there's even a free water fill up station for your bottles I thought I'd take you inside the visitor centre so you can have a look. Um, they obviously sell all sorts of uh, touristy bits and pieces. T-shirts, sweatshirts, 
and of course it's all uh, heavily biased towards the um, viaduct and the steam train. Lots of cuddly soft toys, Scottish teddies, mugs, anything you can think of really, short cake, shortbread, uh, oh and whiskey flavoured fudges, some very nice stuff actually, wasn't cheap. And of course there were socks and scarves and um, anything you can think of really. This room was dedicated to uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie and uh, the things that he got up to, lots of books etc. And uh, basically a history of his life. And this is an intricate model recreating the moment of the 1745 gathering. More stuff for sale, handbags. I would have liked to have spent a bit more time in there, but um, we're only here on a short visit and the um, steam trains coming in the next 10 minutes I believe. Hello girls. Hiya. We do take you to some interesting places don't we? Hey. I think this has got to be one of the best ones really but let's have a look. Uh, that's the Glenfinnan Viaduct. We're waiting for the famous, it was in some film once, I think. <laughs> Don't know what the film was. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we're waiting for the Jacobite to come along because the actual train, I think, is in London. So they have a steam train coming across in about 10 15 minutes called the Jacobite. Here we go. Here it comes. Yeah, there it is. How cute. Yeah, you can see all the flashes and, and then down. I think that's a big puff of steam up there. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Woo! Oh, that is so cute.
this amazing viaduct was built by the young Robert McAlpine back in, started in 1897. It cost um, just under £19,000 to build and it was one of the first major structures to ever be built using concrete. There are 21 arches. <laughs> As we approach Merlin, we can see another CV40 parked next to him. It's a black evolution one from Brownhills. It turns out it belongs to Ray and Sue Catterall, who are also members of the group. They had only had their van for um, a couple of weeks and were already clocking up the miles going round Scotland. And they've named their van Ray Van. Lovely to meet you guys and um, thanks for letting us use your picture of the train. It was much better than mine. We hope we get the chance to meet up with you again at some point. Thanks for watching this bonus vlog. In the next one you will see us resume our day three trip to Scotland and Skye.